But traffic in New York City making its way back and forth between Manhattan and the borough of Brooklyn are setting tonight. The NBA on 2K Sports. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon with Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Hey, Kevin. Well, another Kevin, Kevin Durant, is just as dedicated to his craft as you are at yours, but it's off the court where he says he's been on a search, pushing my limits, the flow of life, the people I meet, the environment I want to live in. All that stuff fulfills me more than anything. Kevin, the game of basketball opens so many doors for him to search. It does indeed. Thanks, David. Here are the five for the Raptors. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. Fred Van Vliet out there with Lowry. And it's Boucher in at center. And for Brooklyn, we've got Durant. Harden out there with Irving. Then there's Griffin. And it's Harris in at the three slot. And Doris, tonight, two experienced teams will be battling. Well, what you come to expect with experienced rosters are excellent defensive Go. rotations, game plan discipline. These guys know how to play the game. So let's see how this plays out. Lowry against Harden. To the inside, Boucher. When Kyle Lowry is aggressive as a playmaker, his team goes to a different level. Irving looking for an opening. And the pass to KD. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. And Doris, last season for Kyrie Irving, really one of waiting. No Durant on the year to play off of. And then Kyrie's season with the Nets was cut short due to injury. Well, second surgery for Irving in the last three years. You obviously hope he and KD can stay healthy and try to revitalize this Nets organization. Irving is so excited about being on the court. The NBA misses him when he's not playing. Let's hope he stays healthy. Here's Siakam after the basket by Brooklyn. Wide open. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Durant kicks to Griffin. Boucher with the rebound. They can go two for one. It's about being smart right now. And Griffin scores. The assist by KD. Boy, what wonderful vision. Kevin Durant with a picture-perfect pass. Irving against Van Vliet. And the basket is good. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. Harden dishes to Harris. Kicks it out to Harden. Harris inside. Covered by Van Vliet. A nice shot by Harris. Nice to see Joe Harris add this to his game. We know he's a dangerous shooter, but go ahead and mix it up on the interior. Outside Lowry. Here's the three. Doesn't go that time. The shot will not fall. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Brooklyn ahead. They're up by one. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. already in this one but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play and uh, from Brooklyn guys what jumps out to you stat wise yeah in that first period they look to push in transition at every opportunity and why wouldn't they you see their effectiveness in the open floor very difficult to slow down Here is Harden. They've got Kyrie Irving. Joe Harris is out there with Durant. Then it's Harden, and it's Griffin in at the five. That's the Nets five as we get into the second quarter. Now, here is Irving. Shoots the three, and James Harden, good for three. Harden's got his second bucket tonight. And without a doubt, one of the most advanced scores this game has ever seen. Harden can do damage from just about anywhere. 
They double him with Irving. Here's Ananobi. Blake Griffin pulls it in. Brooklyn leading by four. And now the fast break to... Oh, oh wow! wow. Yeah. Well, Kevin Durant with a little crafty creativity. KD at the rim. 119 left to play here in the half. And with Kevin Durant recovering from the Achilles injury, glad we get to see one of the all-time greats back in action. No doubt, Greg. And KD is trying to navigate his way through one of the most difficult injuries a basketball player can face. But we know unequivocally this man will go down as one of the elite scorers in NBA history. That combination of size and shooting is truly something to behold. Now here is Lowry. Harden missing his last shot. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I gotta say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. But deep three from Irving. That shot off the mark. Now, Toronto takes it the other way. Shoots. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. But Kyle Lowry can do it all. He is an outstanding passer. When necessary, as it was right here, knock down the catch and shoot jumper. And this is some serious showmanship. Loving that tomahawk right there. Craig, he came with force, and that's not just about getting two points. That was sending, I think, a message. And it's out, out of, of bounds. bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. And the Raptors with some changes. Siakam is checked in for Chris Boucher. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Ananobi. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Down low, here's Lowry, lays it up off the glass. Boy, Pascal Siakam plays at his own pace, able to find the open man. Harden got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And Irving launches it from deep. No good on the quick three. Now, Siakam. With one on the clock. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Kevin. Good battle going on tonight. What has been the approach? Well, we're just trying to pack the paint. Those guys are great. So we're just trying to make them see a few guys, get some deflections, and get some uh, easy baskets. We'll see if he can keep it going in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Brooklyn found themselves in a close game in the first. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. They settled into a nice groove in the second quarter. It's now a six-point lead, and they only need to keep it going in the third. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nets' first half? Yet again, we're seeing the offensive brilliance of James Harden able to see openings develop before they actually happen. And when you have that kind of anticipation, it makes you nearly unguarded. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? They were really efficient, great approach offensively. Their shot selection was first rate. They were always working hard to get good looks. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they have been so far. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And as we get to this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You gotta like what Harden has done in this game so far. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game that's been so far. 
And it's Harden with the ball for the Nets. Six-point lead, setting the floor for the Raptors. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slot. Ari out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Boucher in at the five down low. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can, it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how Hill. about Kobe going to the Lakers? Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit. And, and I tell you what, boy, it, it can really transform a franchise's future. There's 126 left in the third quarter. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That's his first foul. There's Siakam. Passes it to Lowry. And it's good. Two points. Six points for Kyle Lowry. Well, nice finish from that point. Kyle Lowry's got a ton of ways to score once he gets into that painted area. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Raptors trail by six. To the middle. Here's Boucher. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. This is his first free throw of the game. No good on the free throw. Uh, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. The Raptors making a switch here. Baines is checked in. And there are only a handful of players who can create excitement just by being on the floor. And Griffin is one of them. Now, here's Baines. And Durant sends it back. Griffin against Van Vliet. The putback and Harden on the phone. Harden's got 11 points. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Lowry against Harden. And that one, good. If you allow Kyle Lowry a head of steam, it is very difficult to stay in front of him. No stopping him on that drive. You can see he just has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Van Vliet up top. Covered by Irving. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Irving passes to Durant. Launches it. And it's Kyrie Irving with the three. Irving's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Free throw drops for Kyle Lowry. Boy, when I think of Kyle Lowry as an NBA player, obviously the basketball skill is what has put him into this position. But it's also, guys, sort of the tough-minded nature, his willingness to put his body on the line nightly. They have both been critical aspects to his success. What a joy to watch this guy. And you know what we call him now? NBA champion. And so it's Brooklyn holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We've got more in store for you right after this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at every position. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Griffin is out there with Durant, and it's Kyrie Irving, then there's Hayes, and it's Harden in at the point. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. It is not an easy task trying to convert against length. Give him credit for taking on that challenge. 
And, and with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his first foul. Here's Trent, guarded by Harris. It'll go, and the Nets' lead is cut down to nine. We're back within single digits after that one from Trent. Here's Griffin. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got three assists in the game. Here's Trent. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter. To the paint, here's Birch. An easy two points on the layup. Well, this is the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. It's also how you build great team chemistry. Here's Harden, and the jam by Harden. So Kyrie Irving, if you're open, he will find you. This guy is a scorer, but he understands others have got to come along with him. 111 left in the fourth. Raptors trail by 11. And a wide open look for Hood. Misses the three. Brooklyn's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Nets. And they're fully in control now, but there were some tense moments I thought for them uh, throughout this game. Uh, look, they certainly weren't coasting, despite what the score looks like. I love the way they came together, though, when everything started to look a little dire and really put the hammer down. And you know, looking back in all the contributions tonight. It was a really phenomenal all-around game for Kevin Durant. Every inch of the floor was his tonight as he came out and injected an energy into every play. Well, Greg Pascal Siakam won most improved player in the league in 2019 and as we've talked about, had a case for it again in the 2020 voting. I tell you, Siakam's play jumped so much again. He deserved the recognition. He continued to press himself to be an elite forward rare for a former MIP winner to even be considered for the award more than once. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Flynn with it. And it's Harden picking him up. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. We have seen Pascal Siakam's confidence improve dramatically. This guy is becoming a problem as a scorer. And he makes both free throws. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And yes, it's good. Durant's got the lead up to 13 now for the Nets. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance. Oh! Oh, oh goodness gracious. Oh. That finish. Oof. Wow. Stolen by Harden. Harris drives in. Here's Griffin. All stolen. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Blake, you really got it going inside tonight. Was that one of your primary objectives? Yeah, that's something we talked about. You know, we talked about not being complacent and settling for jump shots. Talked about getting the hole um, and playing tough on defense, and I thought that's what um, you know, our guys did tonight. Really controlled the paint at both ends, Blake. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrin. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.